awesome gaming studios bringing you an all new Minecraft mini game called the Chamber of Running. And here I got a couple of my friends, Daniel nine thousand one. So say something. And we got Arian G. Arian Naji. Okay. I don't know Hi. what you said. I like okay, so um the mini game is called Chamber Running. Uh here's the rules right here. So uh you can pause it here and read it. And so there's one operator and uh the survivors. Operators kill the survivors by you know, TNT and stuff and you know there's buttons and there's a chamber. So it started off as a torture chamber and I turned it to a mini game. So yep, and this is an official wall. Uh made it a couple years ago, which is why Grammar's back. But yeah, so you can pause it there. So yeah. So yeah, we got some parkour here while you're waiting. These lights turn on and off when the game is started. That's my energy chest over here. So yeah, but let's get started. Okay. So y'all go through the survivor door, I'll go through the operator door. That'll only let one person through. Okay, y'all go through the survivor door. So yeah, this is the operating operator area. Those are the survivors over there. They're getting ready for me to kill them and the last person. Yep, Larry and Gary, those two fire chargers, lagging fire chargers, okay. So over here we got some zombies, got some TNT, got some fire charge, and lava. And uh, got, another, got some more rules and stuff. So yeah, if you, if you didn't read them, of course. And uh, yep, so let's get started. The game will get one lever on. Okay, you all ready not to kill each other? Okay, okay, now uh, everything's on, let's start with... Uh, well, since I can only do one team, he'll start some zombies. See how y'all end off with the zombies. Yeah, let's go. You doing good over there? Oh, I hate the baby zombies. I hate them. Uh, oh, yeah, they're doing okay. Okay, not working for you. I am in cobwebs. Ooh, Arian died. Daniel won. Let's go. Okay, so Daniel, you're the next operator. Okay, let's go back through. So look, the lights are on since uh, game is starting. So yeah, since uh, he died, let's go through the operator door. I'm ready when you are. You're going down. Okay, game. It's on. My hair is going down. That's okay. Well, that's because we're an adventure. Just eat anything. Oh, you'll be fine. Okay, Daniel, what you gonna throw at us first? Those fire charges? Uh -oh. Fire charges! Get over! I'm so scared. Dodge. Ooh, super dodge. That! I won! Daniel! Game mode out! Turn it off! Yeah. Daniel, hit the game over, buddy. Okay, nice. Okay, voila. Oh, this is my chamber of running right here. It's a mini game. So, these are lights that turn on and off. They're wired to the chamber that's all the way out there. They're wired to turn on when, the, when you can start the game. And they turn off when the game is in progress. So, over here, you got some uh, parkour for a golden apple for, you know, an advantage over the competition so you just walk through here and you have to do this parkour I'm not gonna do it because I don't feel like it you have to get all the way over here and then you just jump on this thing and get your golden apple and you get teleported right back and then you can put your golden apple right here so that you won't lose it when you go in there or you can use it so yep that's pretty much that okay this is forever door and you can go in there until the operator the first person who goes through here is the operator um, hits the game start button which I'll show you so, um, this door will close, and it won't open again, it'll lock right after the first person locks through. So let me show you. And these are the controls. We have lava, lava comes down from the roof. We have fire charges, we have TNT, we have the game over and start button, and we have zombies. So yep, yeah, there's rules here if you, if you didn't read them. So over here, I'm going to go back, and I'm going to show you how it works. So this is the um, thing that connects it back. And I made this so that, because some sometimes people spawn up here, so they can just jump down here and get teleported right back. So, yep. So, this door is closed, and it'll stay locked. So, yep. 
and then there's a reset button somewhere hidden. I'm not going to show you it. And uh, so this is the survivor's door. You just walk through um, until someone hits. So yeah, you can keep doing that. As many people can join it until someone hits that game start button. So this stuff will not. Whoops. Oh, don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Okay. So um, these things will not work unless the game oh, um, on button is on. And they will stop working and teleport the last survivor back. I mean, to be an operator, but I might change that later. So, yep, so let's put in some survivors. Okay, and then we got them started up. So, once you start that up, the light over there will turn off and the doors will shut. Okay, and the game is starting. So, you can turn on this lava room where lava comes through here. And the, the redstone part's pretty uh, expansive and advanced, so I'm going to show you that later. So, you have to get to the middle and you turn that on. You're not trying to get everybody at the same time. You're trying to save one person. So, yep. Yeah. So, then you can uh, fire some fire charges at them. If they're trying to camp center. Then they have to dodge the fire charges. It's predictable. It's left and right. So, uh, yeah. Turn that off. And then this TNT. You can only drop one. But uh, And then there's a system that will only let you use one TNT. Okay. And then there's the zombies. Uh, okay. I put in some zombies. And those zombies come out, they spawn right here. Oh, never mind. It's in peaceful. Okay, now that's normal. We can spawn in some zombies. So, yeah, those zombies will come in. But uh, let's put it back to peaceful so creepers don't blow up the stuff. Okay, and uh, TNT dropping. You know, I'll let you do one. I set it up so that you don't spam TNT on them because it's limited. See, and there's TNT right there. So, yep, and you can only do one at a time because it won't let you do any more. So, yep, and the lights turn on, of course. So yep, I'm gonna show you the TNT now. So once that's done, hit this game over button, and then everything, uh, last survivor gets teleported here, and you get teleported back, okay. So let me show you how the redstone works back here. Okay. So this is what uh, uh what these buttons control back here. Uh, there's command blocks here to teleport you. So this, these are all, you know, connected to the back, I'll show you that. This command block teleports you to the operator to and from so uh so uh back here i'm gonna show you the red stuff so this is just wiring these are just connectors to get back here so uh you can go all the way over here okay let me show you back here so you, that's connected to when the game over it teleports the last survivor back to you over there so this is what this is the fire charges it powers those the loop is over there and it uh alternates between these two take quite a while to wire that this is the watch to drop the water and uh, to drop the lava when that turns on pistons and then this is the TNT dropper uh, that things get pushed and then sand falls down and it keeps working like that and then you got TNT right there so you can refill it and then there's water so it doesn't blow up everything and that activates the TNT while it drops and there's a system in place over here that only lets you do one flip-flop right here and it, yep so that's how that works and then um, um, what else over here is the zombies thing that drops the zombies. Right here, these dispensers. Okay. So, uh, that's it for that. Uh, let me go back. Thank you guys for watching. And if you liked what you saw, then please hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome gaming studio videos. And until next time, remember. I hate the baby I hate those.